People, and Nine, today... Uh, stop. Do it again. Stop. Okay, go. Hello, people, and today you are going to learn how to solve a non-inverting amplifier circuit. Very good, Bradley. I can't believe you did that without the giggles. Okay, so this is problem number 15, or number 16 from chapter 5 on op amps. And we have a... Um, a 40 kilo ohm resistor here, an 80 kilo ohm resistor for the feedback resistor, and this is your V out, like usual, and attached to the ne the positive terminal of your op amp is a three a um, three voltage a three volt signal source. So let's see, and actually the plus and the minus 15 is not going to come into play in this problem because they're not asking us to find saturation, so it doesn't even matter what that is. Um, so what configuration is this? Well, the signal source is coming through the positive terminal, so it's not going to get inverted like it would if it was um, coming in through the negative terminal. So, um, so you're not going to get an inversion of the sign, whatever's coming in, like if you have positive signal coming in, you won't get an amplified negative version of it coming out. It's going in through this, uh, um, it's going in through here, through the, po the positive terminal, so it's going to come out positive also. So the configuration is the non-inverting, non-inverting amplifier configuration. That's part A. Part B is to find the V out. There's a formula that gives that to you, but you don't want to be going memorizing formulas left and right. You want to use um, circuit, your understanding of off amps and circuit analysis techniques to solve it because uh, unless you get a note card, which uh, a lot of people won't, then you'll want to have a solid understanding of it. So off amps, with op amps, you have a VN and a VP, and of course, the current going into the terminals or out of the terminals of the op amp is zero. So zero amp, zero amps, that's the ideal op amp. And we also know that VN is equal to VP. And in this case, our VP is three volts. So in this configuration, we have VN is equal to VP, which is equal to three volts. So we're going to write our... Um, we're going to write our no voltage equation right there. So we have um, no voltage at Vn. We've got Vn minus uh, Vn over 40, over 40k, plus Vn minus V out over 80. And of course the current here, remember KCL, is just the sum of the currents leaving the node has to equal zero. So that current is zero, and all of those have to equal zero. But Vn is equal to Vp, and Vp is equal to three. So really, I can replace the Vn with three volts. And that leaves me one equation and one known unknown to solve. So if I bring, bring this V out of over 80 over here, well, first of all, I have 3 volts minus V out over 80, right? That's going to be equal to 0. And this V out over 80, which I'm going to place over here. So that's gone. Now solving for V out is just multiplying this by 80. When you do that, you will find out what's well, 80 over here. Um, well, just put it into your calculator, and you will come up with V out is equal to 9 volts. So we have a gain of um, 300, uh, 3 times, so a gain of 3. Let me make sure that I got that right. 3 over 40, 3 over 80, times 80, yes. So part B is 9 volts. Okay, Bradley, end the video. Say goodbye to the nice people. Go.
Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, favorite, uh, comment, whatever you guys do on YouTube these days. And thanks for watching.